Today, we are at Bayou Residences, located along Upper Paya Lebar Road. We will have a three bedroom, two bathroom, 937 square feet unit to share with you today. Bayou Residences is a uh, close proximity to Bali MRT Station and also to next mega shopping mall. If you are parents who are enrolling your kids to Mary Stella High School, Paya Lebar Methodist Girls School, do stay tuned with us. And without further ado, let's start off with this home tour. Hi, welcome to Bayou Residences. Today we have a three bedroom, two bathroom, 937 square feet unit to share with you today. What I like about this unit is that we have minimum wastage of space and it's very easy for the new owner to reconfigure the layout. Currently, there is no TV console, but for the new owner, they can consider to do a featured wall, TV console for the TV over here, and with the current four-seater sofa, we can also visualize that the viewing experience distance between the sofa and the TV is very comfortable. Coming to the dining area, it's very rare for a 900 plus 3 bedroom unit now to be able to fit a 6 to 8 pack dining table. But we are able to do so because there's a lot of space over here for the new owner to work around. If you're someone who loves heavy cooking, I'm sure you like this kitchen space as much as I do. First, we have a three panel slidable door which allows you to do heavy cooking while preventing the smoke from going into the living room. Towards to my right, this is a bomb shelter. The layout is longish in design. So if you're someone who needs to house a helper, it's achievable to put the bed inside this bomb shelter. Currently, we have a two door fridge, but because of the space that we have, if you want to do a four door fridge, it's also achievable. If you're someone who prefers separate washer and dryer, you can also use this area to do a stack up washer here and a dryer on top. For manual laundry, it also can be done because we have a retractable laundry rack that you can use. And my wear sun is from this direction. It will help a lot in the drying of clothes. We have two big panel window over here and it will help when you're doing heavy cooking. There's a lot of space. This is a place where you can do your food handling. Upper and below cabinets has been already been done up and this is a very good size basin for you to do your dishwashing. What I like about the master bedroom is the size that it has to provide. Currently, we have a queen size bed built on top of the bay window but if you were to do a king size bed, it's also achievable. From my view in the master bedroom, we are not blocked by any of the landed in front of us and we have a clear view of the opening. And good thing about this unit is that all the panel of the window can be open for very good average ventilation. If you're someone who prefer to have a massage chair or a working desk in your master bedroom, you can consider doing it over here and there are still a good walkway for you to walk around. This master bedroom also have a semi-walk-in wardrobe. Currently, there are two doors wardrobe space. If it's not sufficient, you can also consider to convert this section into extra space for your wardrobe. Walking into the master bedroom toilet, it comes with a window ventilation all around and is protected with anti-slip flooring for safety reasons. The first common bedroom comes with two glass sliding door, so this door can also actually be opened up and closed up depending on the new owner's requirement. Currently, we have a single size bed fitted in this bedroom but it can be done up as a queen size bed we will show you in the second common bedroom. All the bedrooms come with a parquet flooring it can be easily sand and repolished back to a brand new condition. Coming to the second common bedroom as I mentioned to you earlier now we have a queen size bed fitted on top of the bay window but still we have a very good walkway in the room itself. Below are all the storage space that you can use and for the wardrobe in this bedroom is also extended all the way to the ceiling top. If you realize that this bedroom is actually very bright with natural lightings coming in because from this angle towards the front we are facing northeast. We allow good air breeze and lights coming into the unit. Next, show you the common toilet. It's right next to this bedroom. 
come with a window ventilation also and very simple design that comes from the developer. There's a very good size planter outdoor area over here which you still can fit a good size small table and chair for relaxation. Right in front of us will be the greenery view with no direct neighbour facing and because of the setback from Bayu residences to the main road, we are not really affected by the traffic in front of us. Before we end on this home tour, let's talk a little bit about the project location, price comparison and the potential upside of Bayu residences. Be it for own stay or investment purposes, Bayu residences give you a very healthy rental you and is able to get you up to $2,008 in rental and estimated about 3 over percent rental you in collection. For the location, for walking distance to the nearest MRT station is just a mere 8 to 10 minutes walk to Bartley MRT station. Otherwise, a 3 bus stop distance to the next mega shopping mall, Serangoon MRT interchange. We are also a close proximity to the upcoming Woodley shopping mall, which consists of residential and shopping malls in that estate vicinity. For the price comparison, we are talking about 99 year lease around in Bayou residences. Three bedrooms are calling around 1.6 to 1.75 million, with three whole new projects calling a quantum of up to $2 million for smaller three bedroom compared to Bayou residences. So for an entry price of 1.2 million today, buying in at the Bayou residences seems like a wise choice to make. For the potential upside, Bayer Labour Airbase is targeted to be shifted out of this area by 2030, which will free up a land space of up to 800 hectares. It will be catered to build up residential, park and offices commercial usage which then the plot ratio in Pile Labour will be removed and high-rise building will be able to build in this area, which will bring up all the project pricings in this vicinity and for a price per square foot of lower than 2,000 per square foot for a freehold today, buying at Bayu will be a wise choice to consider.